Nah, stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfucker. So, do they have a suspect? Now the one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duvall is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. I don't know what you think you saw. <laughs> I saw my client with that Marcano woman. I know Mr. DeGamo's Mind here. Your place, and boy. I will go to the police. What are you looking at? You look parched. Have some wine. Dinner on the table when I get home. Is that really so much to ask? Oh, come on now. fortune when his daddy died. Hey, let him yes, burn there, bro. I miss him too. It makes it easier to see what they're working with. Gotcha. We find that Sean who killed Remy, he's gonna wish he was dead. Reginald, get over please here with that bottle, down. man. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. My condolences. It's gonna be okay, Sheriff. You look parched. Have some wine. 
Yeah, well, she's my wife, and I shouldn't have to beg for it is all. If you say so. new guy you can smoke over here you see how Clarence is behaving looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there <laughs> ask me it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella serves him right nigga this nigga that it's every other word that comes out of his mouth bad enough hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says. I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, you, me, him... Do you see hot trails? Whoa. <laughs> this is some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> see you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> God damn God. These people out of their mind. Yes. I see him. Yeah, I see Remy. No, wait. Oh, I am Remy. He's possessed me. Oh. Oh, what do you see? Let's see the stars. The moon. Something is wrong. It's so many. Get me colors. out of here now. Oh, yes, man. So many. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They've all come down with some kind of affliction. <laughs> Signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on them pretty hard. Take 
one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a quiet one. Shoot that! changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think I need to oh, get down. gonna kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Now, 
I ain't asking you a second time, boy. Either sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not, I'm not signing a damn thing.
My hand is ruined. <laughs> Gamo, I'm gonna get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Oh, God. He's dead. Show you some wheels over here. I'm fucking blattered. Couldn't drive it, my life depended on it. Try me later. Resupply. Coming at you. Hang tight.
Stop the car, I want to get out. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. 
couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. What'd you say? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to yeah. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gummo? Gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. Well, this is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duvall's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> the Gamo's lawyer is going to keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to. Force them to make this right. That takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Vellante and ask him. Fuck him. The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission. They're going to want to cut everything. Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Just having a friendly conversation. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. We may have different motivations for doing what we're doing, but there's no denying we're damn good at it. Making more money than our people have ever made. Don't slow things down now. To say I'm biding my time would be a fucking understatement. I got no idea where your mind's at, but my patience is running short. Action like what we got right here is like wet pussy. If it's been long enough, ain't no such thing as a bad one. I want this piece. We know the struggle in ways others don't. Who's it gonna be, Lincoln? Consider which way Donnie would want you to go, and then come to me. Make the right choice. You get this to me, Mark Connor's gonna shit himself. Anytime you want to make a call, I'm good with that. A man earns respect by making hard choices. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. How about you quit wasting my goddamn time? No one here has got more know-how than yours truly. If you can't see that, then you can go fuck yourself. I earned this shit, Burke, so shut your fucking mouth and maybe you'll learn something. You got a funny goddamn definition of loyalty. Maybe I'll keep that in mind next time you come calling, asking for help. 
All right, that's it. We're done for now.